I'm probably going to see one hair out of place and want to throw away this whole like video. Hi YouTube and thank you for clicking on my first ever haul. So I'm so excited. So I already filmed this video one time but then I got the footage on my computer and it was just a whole mess of footage I couldn't use. So I'm redoing this whole video. So I used to have everything in the box like the first time I filmed it but now half of it I already opened and started using. But basically I got a bunch of new hair care products because I don't know I feel like sometimes you just go through this phase where you feel like nothing you're using is working so you just have to completely start over and buy all new stuff. So that's basically what I did. So I'm just going to get into it. So starting off I got some stuff from Carol's Daughter. Now I've never tried this brand before but I heard like good enough reviews about it so I'm excited. So the first thing I got was the hair milk cleansing conditioner. So I got this one. And then to go with it, I got the leave-in conditioner. So I'm excited to use these together. It's like a hair mill. Everything says for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. So that sounds like it covers everything. And then I got the little, like, mini baby version of it. Just because I figured it was good to travel with. And I'm probably going to use that. Like, when I'll just take it with me if I go anywhere. So I'm still doing Carol's Daughter stuff. So I got then this healthy hair butter. So this is right here. This one is really, really thick. Like, I was surprised when I tried it that I feel like it didn't really absorb into my hair at all. So you really have to, like, work the product in there. And then I got the Black Vanilla Hair Smoothie. So this one. I, th I guess this is a treatment. When I bought it, I thought it was, like, a leave-in conditioner, and I did that. And then I read the bottle, and it said that you're supposed to rinse it out after 10 minutes. So I was like, okay, I did that wrong. But it is okay, and it does smell good. It does smell like vanilla. I was like thinking of that when I first bought it because sometimes stuff says that it's going to smell a certain way but it doesn't actually smell that good. So this one is approved vanilla. It does smell good. And then the last thing I got from Carol's Daughter is Curl Defining Butter. I find my hair works best with like butter products. Things that are called like either curl butter, coil butter, whatever. It absorbs really well. It's nice and thick so it stays hydrated because I feel like especially right now it's July it's like 100 degrees outside if I step outside my hair is frizzy and it's all over the place and it's a mess so like butter type hydrating products work really good so I picked this up I'm excited to use this too for especially when I detangle my hair because you definitely need something really rich to put back into it so I'm going to use that and that was the last thing I got from Carol's daughter so then I got a package from Walmart I ordered all the stuff from walmart.com I got this Maui, I didn't know how to say that at first, Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. Now I'm not crazy about coconut oil, like straight coconut oil in your hair isn't good for it, but there's not a ton of coconut oil in here, like there's other ingredients first, so I figured it would be okay not to like, because coconut oil leaves so much residue on your scalp, like that's that flaky scalp where it's just product buildup. So we don't like coconut oil on our hair. That is not good. But I'm excited to try this. And it has papaya in it. That sounds good. It smells. It smells okay. I've smelled better hair products, but it's not too bad. And then I got these two, which this is what I was probably most excited about. Because I used to use Miss Jessie stuff in high school. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I just never purchased it since high school. So this baby buttermilk literally smells like my freshman year, so I love it. But I got the baby buttermilk, which is just like a really good moisturi moisturizer. And then the multicultural curls. Can't even talk. Multicultural curls is like a styling product. So I'm excited to use these. Like I said, I haven't used them in years. And it says specifically that the multicultural curls doesn't weigh your hair down, which is obviously a, a big thing with curls. Like you don't want it to weigh your hair down. So I might make a follow-up video depending on like the stuff that I got and the stuff that I'm trying. If I like it and what I do like, don't like, whatever. I might do that. And then I got this stuff. I feel like every girl with curly hair has owned something from the Aussie line. Honestly, I was like iffy about it because I was like well I don't know if it's like in the same category as like a Pantene or a Suave or it's like really not made for our hair but I really like this and then this was another thing that I remembered I used to use this my freshman year and I didn't remember that until I smelled it I don't know I'm weird with like smell associations that's what made me think of it but so I got this one I'm trying to see if it says anything yeah wait three minutes and rinse it out I don't do that I either leave it in for a longer time or I'm really lazy and I just don't rinse it out but 
got avocado oil in it. It's a good product, paraben free, which is always nice. So I am excited to start using this again and probably not going to follow directions and rinse it out. But oh well. So that is all the hair stuff that I got. And then I decided to make a combination video with this because after I realized I couldn't upload my first hair care haul, I went to a skincare event and then I got some stuff from there too. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to make this like a full combination skincare hair care haul. So I put everything in this bag, even though it's not all PCA stuff. So this is one of the best parts about being an esthetician is sometimes you get free things, which is one of the best parts. So one of the first things that I got from this event was the Jan Marini Bioglycolic Cleanser. This is just what it looks like. This is a 12% glycolic acid. So this, like it has a tingle to it. I'm not going to lie. I used it today. And when I cleanse, I put the cleanser on, I wash it, I brush my teeth with the cleanser still on, and then I rinse it off. And even in just like the couple minutes of me brushing my teeth, like you feel that little tingle. But it's 12%, like I said. So this is going to be bomb for, like, acne, um, wrinkle management. If you're using, like, another really good, like, spot treatment or, like, serum after, this is a really good start because your skin is super clean after a 12% glycolic acid. So anything else that you put on the skin after the fact is going to work better. So I was excited to get this. And then I got the Obagi Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm not going to lie, I did not like this product the first time I used it. I thought it was messy. I thought it was too gritty. It's like wax beads and it's they're big beads. They're not like a little like granule scrub. I feel like the beads are big. But honestly, it grew on me. And the main thing that I feel like about this cleanser is using it in the shower is probably like your best bet. Because when I was using it during facials on clients, I didn't like it because I was like, oh my god, like you have to use so much um, either wipes or sponges or like towels to get this off. And it just was not coming off like I wanted to. But in the shower, it works so much better. So after that is when I changed my mind about it. I was like, okay, this isn't bad. And I got a full size one for free, so I am not complaining at all. And then I got, this is what I'm most excited about. This is the PCA Collagen Hydrator. I'm just going to take it out of the package. This is the PCA Collagen Hydrator. I got a full size one for free. Like, guys, that is crazy. So I got this, and this I'm going to save for when I start doing chemical peels again on myself. This is one of the aftercare products that's like approved for after a PCA chemical peel. So I'm going to save this and just use this after the fact. I'm not going to switch it now. The PCA Clear Skin is like my ride or die moisturizer. So this is from that same line. So I'm excited to use this for after the chemical peels. I don't really need a collagen moisturizer necessarily because I'm more acne prone. But once I do chemical peels, you can't use the Clear Skin moisturizer. So this just came in too clutch because that's one less product I have to buy for when I start my peels. And then I got this. This is a little baby one. The Murad um, Environmental Shield Essential C Cleanser. I love this stuff. I did. Fa I used this during facials for so long. It's such a nice cleanser. This I'm definitely going to travel with. Like I'm going to try not to use it and then I'm going to take it with me if I go somewhere. But it's just a nice smelling refreshing cleanser. Like your face feels really clean. Vitamin C in there is good. And then it came with this little... I'm not going to take it out of the box. It's just the Essential C Day Moisturizer SPF 30. This is really good for like brightening, antioxidants, like fighting wrinkles. I think I am going to make a video about vitamin C, kind of what it is and why it's good. But if you are trying to expand your like skincare collection and you want a vitamin C product, I do really like the Murad Vitamin C line. So I'm excited to use this moisturizer. And then I got a little baby multivitamin oil. It's so little and cute. It's like totally beside the point. But this is just basically a really nice soothing oil. If your skin is irritated or maybe you've got a sunburn or you have like a bad reaction to like a chemical or something like that, it's a really nice product. It smells like lavender. It's soothing. It's like a bedtime oil, so you definitely would not want to put this on during the day. You would look crazy and greasy. So I'm going to use this at night, especially in the winter. I'm probably going to try to save it for the winter when your skin gets really, really dry. And then I got 
a which one is this rejuvenating serum a little rejuvenating serum from pca this isn't really in my skincare concern again i'm just gonna use this for when i do chemical peels from the pca line this is one of the products that they put on your skin during the peel so i'm just going to use this for that it's more of like stem cell regrowth it's very botanical plant-based it's for wrinkles fine lines kind of helping like youthful healthier skin come forward there's like a before, I doubt you'll be able to see that. It's like a before and after picture on the back of it of someone's eyelid. So it's kind of also used as like a spot treatment for wrinkles. So in this picture, you can see like around here and here, the person used it every day for three months. And they also used it in combination with other PCA products and they had good results. So it is a really good product. And then... I got this little wish lavender body butter I don't know it's cute it's little I like lavender I'm probably gonna keep this in my bag just as kind of like a moisturizer for my hands that I can just like throw in if I'm carrying a smaller purse and then last but not least I got the see me hydrating lip balm now I'm not really a person who has like opinions on lip products I feel like as long as it feels good and goes on nice I like it but this one is really good and it's thick so it almost looks like more of a lip gloss I feel like like I'm wearing it right now I have no lipstick or lip liner or anything on I'm just wearing this and I feel like it looks more than of a lip gloss and it does a lip balm but I don't know I feel like that's a good or a bad thing depending on what look you're going for so I know these are really small sample sizes and everything, but I cannot believe I got all this stuff for free. Like, I was so excited when the different, like, vendors started pulling out stuff to give to us. So, that was my hair care and skincare haul. So, I'm so excited to film a haul because I grew up watching them, and I was just so excited to talk about what I got in front of the camera. So, if you enjoyed watching this, then just thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.